recently in security. Checkpoint research reveals hundreds of millions of WhatsApp records available for sale on the darknet. A new malware as a service called DuckLogs has been spotted in the wild, and a newly disclosed VS Code vulnerability allows an attacker to take control of their victim's machine by just having them click a link. Checkpoint Research analyzed reports of hackers selling WhatsApp numbers and confirmed that the leak contains 360 million phone numbers from 108 countries. Attackers used the stolen data to conduct various social engineering attacks. To remain safe when engaging with messages from unknown senders, avoid clicking links, only install apps from official app stores, do not provide data, always verify numbers, never provide remote control access, and deploy email security solutions that automatically block suspicious emails. Cyber Research and Intelligence Labs discovered a new malware strain in the wild called DuckLogs, offered through a malware as a service platform that provides sophisticated features and detection evasion to threat actors at a low price. Duck logs generate modules that are a unique combination of Steeler, Keylogger, and Clipper malware bundled into one malicious software package with the ability to exfiltrate sensitive data to a command and control server. The malware bypasses user access control and kills Windows Defender, steals sensitive information, hijacks cryptocurrency transactions, logs keystrokes to an encrypted output, disables Windows services, and more. Review the Cybel blog post to see their defensive recommendations, identify MITRE attack techniques, and indicators of compromise. Last, a critical VS Code vulnerability was recently disclosed on Google security research that demonstrates how an attacker could take over the computer of a VS Code user via the Visual Studio Code remote development feature. When VS Code loads a Juniper notebook, it executes in trusted mode. Additionally, Juniper notebooks allow for arbitrary HTML to be injected into the web view. By crafting an anchor tag that references the command URI, we can make the user launch a new terminal and execute any command of our choosing. All the attacker needs to do is craft the malicious file, host it on their server, and get the user to click on a prepared link that references the Juniper notebook. Thank you for watching this episode of Recently in Security. Please consider subscribing to my channel, turning on the notification bell, and liking the video if you would like to see more content like this. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.